Look at all those little squeaking birds. Whoa, they're still going. Let's zoom in. That's a, that's a little flock right there. Just a little one. What in the world is going on? That, that's all of them. I think it'll be the last bird in that little clock over there. Oh hey, it's day four, <laughs> and I my first sunrise. Let's look at that. Oh, that's not too bad either. I guess I should have started with that. That's a good intro. Well, this is Nebraska churches here, it's so conveniently lined up, corner corner, and I can't tell what this other one is. If you read there, it says Getting Seat Church or Chapel. I wonder what that is. Oh, and then this is my other new problem. Sad. My backup to the trailer is no video signal. That's no bueno. Ugh. Dang it. I don't know what to do. I had a problem. Okay, so this is like, this is problem number three. First, my UPS didn't work, and it was the button. It's just the button. And then my computer didn't work, and it was the button. <laughs> I had to go, and I had this little adapter thing that made easy plug into the motherboard, and I was just like, screw it, taking that thing off, putting it directly in, and I think that's going to help a lot. And I'm actually laying it down on its side, because that's the orientation of the motherboard, so everything will be resting straight down. And, um... Yeah, so where's the button on my on this that I just need to hit for it to all work? Here's here's the switch. This little ah, oh, you can hardly see it. Sorry, waste of video. But I just flick this and let's go. Um, I want my backup video camera back. See, it helps to complain because as I complained, the sky has changed and that got real. Anyways. <laughs> It was pretty awesome, and I took a bunch already, and now I'm like, oh crap, where's more churches, and do I stay here, or do I go to the other churches and get this with those churches? Well, you know what? I'm happy, I'm complacent doing these three. I still don't know if that's a church. It says Chapel. I don't know. Ooh, look at, once this get all, look at, I need to get more, more polishing done. But once this gets, even more polished, I'll be able to see the reflection. Kinda, sorta, right? And I'm still stuck here because I really want my backup camera to work, and it still doesn't. And uh, we, I, my best solution is we've stuck um, this wire in this little area, and we're like, oh, this is great, but this is like sharp as a knife, and it started to fray this. And so that's my best idea, and I've since. Uh, open it up a little bit more to be able to see if it really is a disconnection. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in focus. It's just not wanting to focus. Oh well, that's the story. And it's getting busier here. Busy little Nebraska. I should be on the road because the sky still look awesome. Uh, smell that? That's the smell of victory. I won. It tried to beat me up. But I won. I didn't give up, and now I have a backup camera. What just happened? Well, there was a, a Radio Shack, which has crazy high prices because they probably don't get a lot of visitors, so they have to mark everything up really high. Now, if I could just find a way to keep these drawers in, like, seriously. Where did that guy think that he could make this and like, oh, yeah, I don't need to put in latches. Uh, maybe if they come in, that's what he's like, oh, let's see if they, if they come in, I didn't really bill you for it, and I'm like, you, now I'm thinking, man, I was gullible, I, I let him build this, and the most important thing for a freaking moving around RV is latches to keep this thing shut, now I, uh, now they're just like screwing them up, because they're moving back and forth, yeah, yeah, about that. Now this is my own fault, I need latches for that, but it's not really ruining that. Like it's just boop, 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 bouncing up and down. I should get a, you know, before it hits some big bumps and breaks the wood or something like that. But uh, this, yeah, 
not happy about that. So, not a very exciting day, just a lot of driving, got the, yeah, anyways, so I'm listening to podcasts, and I listened to this one cool on the road podcast, I was talking about the Lincoln Highway, and uh, um, and Kearney being this place of about the Lincoln Highway, and well, they were talking about this thing, this uh, thing over the highway where you can look down and I don't know what this is. It's huge though. And I just went under it. Yeah, so apparently Lincoln Highway is 100 years old this year and they had this big huge festival in Kearney because it's like halfway between the Pacific and and the, the Atlantic, you know, between Oregon and Boston or something like that. Anyways, they had a big festival here. I guess they'll have another one in 100 years from now. I just thought it was cool to you know, that, that the two worlds collided, my listening world, and then I'm like, oh, I'm here in Kearney. I really, and there's like museums that they talked about, but I don't really, I, I gotta get east, and I'm sadly going to miss sunset where I want it to be again, so I need another backup plan, and I think I'm gonna go on the I-80 up until Grand Island. Uh, it's just looking on Google Maps, I have to try to find something and then go up on like uh, 34, I think it is. It looks like a smaller highway. Something you can like stop off on and the, there's more entrances and exits. Sadly, this uh, does mean I need, I need to try out my car a little bit more with the accelerations, deceleration, stops and goes and stuff like that. And stop at some more churches. Now that I know I'm not going to make it, it's like arrival time is 9 p.m. almost. I'm just gonna have to stop do something else and I'm not getting much solar either because it's cloudy but it's warm it's like 80 degrees so anyways it's a lot warmer being down at like 2,000 2,000 elevation instead of up at 7,000 that's your interesting fact for the day it's warmer where it's lower usually all right it's time for sunset and I pulled off the road and uh, I actually was getting gas in the sky with the purple uh, Mohawk came, he's like, hey, what year is that? And he wanted to talk to me about my trailer, which is awesome. And then I was like, where do you know about churches? He'll go back into, I'm like, no, I'm going this way. And I'm like, what about the church in your town here in this small little town? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, there's two of them. And I'm like, I just want some small, nice little uh, churches. So I got this one and then there's, oh, you can't see it. I'll go over there real fast. But he was really cool, talked to me forever, told me about this, uh, this church in like a four person town. And uh, I'm gonna go check it out after I'm done with sunset here. And hopefully, we got some clouds, but maybe I, you know, we'll see what I can do on this church. They said it's just well maintained, it's small. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And there's a little bit of lightning over there. Can I get it? It's just, ah, there's just a little bit too much going on. If I was up a little, like, if ah, there wasn't, uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm trying to express that it could just be. A little bit less stuff going on and more for the building alone oh another lightning did you see it oh and hey that guy came back by the way I gotta take a picture <laughs> and it, you're in the picture the guy came back and gave me some more uh, ideas of a glass building a glass building that's in Breton and uh, Lincoln and he's gonna find me on Facebook and send me information and I'm headed east and it's gonna be hard to get but I gotta take pictures because that's what's happening right now. And I should get one for Instagram. Hey, so we are here um, at Chapman, Nebraska, and a cute little old building. And in fact, um, they don't use this one quite as much, even though it's coming up on the 125th. 125 years. And I'm here with Pastor D. Carpenter. That's me, Donna Carpenter. Donna Carpenter. And 125 years there, but they've actually expanded to this one and to that one over there. We're just now, this year is the first year we'll be using that for our kids. Okay. And the kids just went off. They just went off to go polish ce cemetery uh, some, stones? Yeah, tracing stones, you know. Okay. Sort of like a scavenger hunt, you know. Oh, okay. Tracing them. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, here in Chapman. And I'm set up over here uh, photographing and because uh, there's a neat little lightning storm off in the distance and I've I thought I'd they were like oh do you want us to move the truck and I was like no it gives it that country feel and uh, so we can turn that into a little 
a little video after I'm done and I'm actually gonna go check on it to just because it got dark real fast as I was talking to Donna Donna Pastor Donna. and she came here in 06 she came here in 06 and just kind of part-time and it's expanded quite a bit in fact they have to use the community building sometimes and uh, yeah so the faith here has and you saw the cool lightning there yeah. the faith here is kind of expanded here right yeah oh yes and our little building has become you know a real asset for this community like when we had Chapman days the other day this is a functioning bathroom Yay! So everybody can go to the car show and then use the bathroom and while they're there they can buy pie and ice cream now how cool is that yeah and I stumbled across here basically out of luck because I was trying to get to Omaha to photograph a building there but I'm way far away and I didn't get there by sunset so I said okay here we are I just want to get a small town feel and this is perfect there's actually another uh, church over there uh, a little Baptist church and Chapman has how many people well I think it's 192 192 right. and so they get they get quite a few here on a Sunday with that you know about 90 or so well, uh, we have that many in membership, but okay. you know, they always say if you pull 50%, you're pulling good. Yeah, that's good. We have had as many as 71 on a baptism, you know. Okay. <laughs> Which is great. I love this. I'm going to go check real fast on the video. All right. Well, it was fun being here in Chapman, Nebraska and chatting with uh, Donna. And she's going to go clean up now and wait for the kids to come back. And I'm going to let this run a little bit longer and head back and maybe just leave this here while I go use the computer or something like that. Yeah, well, you know, it's a school night. The kids can't be out too late. Too late. Okay. <laughs> and this true. also functions as a school. Yes. Wow. So it's like a community center and that's kind of the feel around some of these uh, congregations. Well, community center, I mean, they have other, yes. but this functions as an addition to our community center because uh, of the bathroom or if there's a funeral someone dies uh -huh. and they don't have a place for the funeral dinner our people are really pretty gracious and we make a terrific funeral dinner so <laughs> well i thank you all right it was neat. thanks and i'll look forward to that book all right okay well i had a nice long chat with uh donna and went inside Got myself some hamburguesas. Uh, another guy, I went outside because I was just paranoid about the camera. It was running a time lapse. I did a video, which I'll have to uh, uh, link here. Hopefully I upload it first. Just her thoughts about the church. It's just kind of interesting to get an idea for some of the stories and the backgrounds. Uh, she gave me the bulletin of their uh, 125th celebration year celebration. 1888 is when this was built. Well, I don't know if it's the same one. The congregation's been around that long. I wonder if it has any history in this. It's just a, it's the, I know, it, it's, it's mainly uh, the, the bullet, the Sunday, what do you call that? The program. It's the program. That's what she gave me. Uh, she also, do you cook? Give you a cookbook? She's like, I'll get you one of your books. And it was just a lot of fun. And now I'm headed, and then I came out, and the guys, some guys, like, hey, what you doing, storm? Or, and he's like, you come over to my house and do you drink? And I was like, no. He's like, ah, oh, you probably don't want to come then. <laughs> Anyways, he just thought it was really neat that I was photographing churches. Anyways, gotta get going. Thought you'd like that little story, even though it would have been better if I filmed them. But I'm trying to learn how to break that on them. They get a little iffy, and sometimes easier just to relate the story afterwards. All right, peace. Okay, so just story time. That was a super creepy church at night. Like, I'm sure the church is beautiful and awesome, but at night it's not lit up at all, which is great for star stuff or for lightning stuff. Um, I'm very happy about that, but it was in a cemetery. And yeah, it was. I was just creeped out. Um, I had my uh, flashlight out and my <laughs> I had a pace in the other hand. I was just like... Uh, I don't know what's gonna jump out at me. Nothing did though. I'm safe. And now it's raining hard and I never did close up the refrigerator vent opening. So that's gonna be interesting, I think. And uh, yeah, I was about to take some other pictures. But I guess this is, 
this is it. This, that's it for the night because now it's super rainy and I'm about 10 miles from there getting back on the interstate and just seeing how far I can get into um, Omaha and see if I can make it to the temple. I did a nap, so let's see if I can do it. I wouldn't get there till like 12.31. Ugh, such late nights. All right. Uh, yeah, this is kind of just like, hey, this is my life. And I've just... Okay, this, I, I'm thinking about doing like maybe a, a kind of an inspiring, should I show the road while I do this? Nope, that's not that great. You're gonna see my face. Um, an inspiring story each night. Maybe I'll do that inside the Airstream. 